All right, time to head away from this area. We had a little rest break, but I've checked the Google, and if we climb up here toward Giardelli, but more this way, we should find the cable car area. I believe we found the place. This looks like a round structure, so let's, um, hmm, must go one way or the other and see what this is. Success. Well, this is definitely one of the things to do, obviously, so we will just join the line. Not too bad. The cars are supposed to come load up about every 10 minutes or so, I believe. Getting their rotate on so they can head up the hill. So this is the Powell and Hyde line. All aboard! Actually, we might not make this one. <laughs> we might wait for the next one. Well, I guess they do still let people use those little hangy things on the side. That's funny, folks. Just hang on for dear life. <laughs> so they've got outside benches up front that face outward, and then they have inside benches on the inside that sort of face each other. Depends on what sitting arrangement you like. And away they go. All right, we are up next. It's very quiet, and they don't have motors in them, so that does keep them very quiet. We are all loaded up and ready to ride. I know, we got nice outdoor seating, left-hand side, so we get to see Lombard Street. Now we'll see, some people are going to come hang on right in front of us, so we'll see what kind of views we get. But hopefully... Yeah, I'm not doing the hanging only thing. Uh, I'm doing the bench sitting thing. Yeah, I want to see how it goes oh, the first time. And maybe if we come back, I'll try it. <laughs> oh. Maybe. Anyway, let's ride. Yeah. I will yeah so right it. now we have gorgeous unobstructed yeah. views, but you know, somebody somebody is going to come hang on to this pole and stand right here. And that's that's just how it goes. Yep, you've got a pole over there that somebody's going to come stand in front of you. So it'll be a view of it. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll have to be like, oh, let's maybe look at not. this. Actually, let's look at that. What? Maybe we won't even have any hangy owners. Yeah, right. <laughs> Come around, they've checked all of our tickets. I think we're getting ready to ring the bell and go somewhere. Unlock some stuff. There's the bell. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> Y'all, we ended up with no one in front of us. We got those yes. prime unobstructed views. This is amazing. All right. Oh, sorry. Oh, man, you <laughs> obstructed me, ma'am. That's rude. <laughs> we can even look out the front of the cable car like this. That's exciting. Oh, photos by D coming up soon. Yeah, no. Boop, boop, boop. Now we go down Lombard. No, we don't. That's cool. So you get to see it from the top. You don't get that classic, you know, looking up at it from the bottom angle. But hey, we saw some Lombard Street. Oh, I forgot this is a cable car stop. Yeah, you can actually wave them down anywhere along the route. Okay, so we picked somebody up. That's what happened. I've got the grip man right behind me, so I get to see. I guess if he needs to take a break, I can always grab the handle and you know try to drive this rig. Please don't. No, no, not a good idea. Not a good idea. Ah, bonus points. Well, the family that was sitting beside us got off at the last stop, so now we've got the front window. Unobstructed side. It's like our own personal cable car. Look at all this street footage. Yes, oh, there's a dog. Oh, here comes some downhill, y'all. Oh, man, it's like a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, I like the kids. Oh. I think 
they've got a like a cable car museum right around there too oh yeah there's the museum right there on the corner in that same building makes sense oh we've just passed the chinatown shop and we're gonna make another turn oh that's a loudness was your well your first half of your streetcar experience cable car so you know when everything goes right in a day like perfect weather amazing seats nobody in front of you i don't know why that happened but that was stellar yeah we lucked so out good my favorite part was when we got to the top of the hill and the little kids go uh-oh yeah roller coaster time <laughs> so cute <laughs> that was so good all right let's explore i think we might grab a snack do a little shopping while we're here and then the turntable is up ahead where you can reboard for one of two destinations Ooh, Sephora. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Burger King. Ow. Well, hello to you too, San Francisco. <gasps> Walgreens. Old Navy San Francisco. Ross. Ooh. Ooh, after all that shopping, I feel like I'm due for a snack. Snacks have been acquired. We've got lattes. We've got other things that look awesome. We've got almond croissants and things in bags. Definitely gonna come on the ship. Ah, it looked very similar, but you know, snacks are in order. San Francisco snacks. We got some tunes to accompany our snacking. Oh, well, we've come over here now because we're playing with the idea of instead of taking the cable car back to actually catch one of the historic like street cars back. So let's see if this works. There's one of the street cars. That one happens to be going the wrong way, but those look pretty cool. Here she comes, the F line toward Fisherman's Wharf. Ooh, away we go. We are riding in style now. I mean, not that we didn't ride in style this morning, but you know, check out all this vintageness. Are there any other uh, authentic modes of transportation we can think of for San Francisco? <laughs> oh, a ferry. Well, that'll have to wait for another day. Greenwich and Embarcadero. So the Greenwich stop looked like about the closest we could get back to the ship. We could have gone to Sansome, I guess, and maybe been a little closer, but I mean, there's the ship, so hey. All right, San Francisco, you were fun. We gotta come back. There's a lot more we gotta do. Yeah. But for right now, we gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the cruise terminal.
going on? It's <laughs> dinner time. I'm not even fresh and clean. What's no. up with that? We're going to keep it very casual tonight. That's true. Because um, we didn't get to see Sail in. Mm, we sleeping. Yeah, under the Golden Gate Bridge. So hopefully we can see Sail out That's true. and go that way. And yeah. then just go eat, grab a quick dinner. Yeah, so because we sail at six yeah. and our dinner reservation in the dining room was at six. And so it usually takes a little longer. <laughs> yeah, so we're foregoing that MDR yeah. food to try to get some sail away excitement. I want to see that. I do too. <laughs> but let's roll out, mm -hmm. sail away, food, whatever order it happens in. Let's get our evening started. I'm starving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Captain speaking from the bridge. I hope you all enjoyed uh, your uh, stay here. Uh, we let go all night. Here's the captain. We're getting ready to sail away and wash our hands. So he said about 20 minutes after we set sail, we should be going under the bridge. We're going to try to grab some food. Oh, Italian seems to be the order of the evening on this buffet. Dinner has been acquired. All sorts of stuff. That was that teriyaki fish. Gosh, I ended up with a ham and cheese calzone, a pork quesadilla, turkey scallopini, some kind of sausage, potatoes, arancini, uh, beef stew, a curry fish, I don't even know, saffron risotto, some ravioli. Woohoo! <laughs> well, we've started moving away from the pier. I hear the horn. About 6.10 we started moving, I'd say. Looking through the window for right now, but we'll go get some better views here in a minute. Oh, I hear the horn again. Anyway, it's time for a stop at the pastry shop. Oh, first of all, look at this. Display only. What does that say? I think that's the name of the chef. Maybe. They have lemon cookies, chocolate chip cookies, brownies. It says peanut butter cookies. But I don't say, oh, available upon request. I need to read better. Double chocolate cookie, oatmeal raisin cookie, and then this cute little thing for display only. How about that? Coffee and chocolate, crunchy cake, carrot cake, mango sago pudding. Okay, freshly baked tiramisu, peach pie. Uh, it doesn't really say what that is. This sign also says carrot cake, but I mean, that's a lot of cakes. So to share with Dee, of course, I selected carrot cake, crunchy chocolate coffee cake, and I got an assortment of cookies. We had to do the chocolate chip, the double chocolate, and the oatmeal raisin. Yes, I'm sharing. She'll be happy with all this dessert. Let's jump out here and get some sail away views. But first, let me get a blanket. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you are fashionable and smart. <laughs> There's some San Francisco sail away footage. Alcatraz side really fast. Oh, I found some wind too. We got horns, wind, prisons. This is excitement. They're doing the horn again. Okay. That's very subtle. <laughs> Let's see if we can jump up one more deck for the optimum bridge viewing position. Hopefully. Hey, we found the jogging track. Seven laps is one mile. You might need to run a mile to... I, I can't, I do. I'm just really cold. Keep you warm up here, huh? The bridge, she is getting closer and closer. I don't know where I'm from, but clearly not in San Francisco. startling at all. They need some announcements. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Y'all, they are proud of that horn. That's all I know. <laughs> yep, okay. <laughs> we get it. some cars. 
cars off the bridge or something. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do it again. Again, again. Is he done now? I don't know. Your hair is amazing, I must say. Oh all right, well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna request that Editing Jay leave all of that in as an uncut sale out so that you can enjoy that horn. I mean, I don't know how much they spent on that horn, but you have to enjoy it. Oh, that's pretty good. Whew. All right, let's head in a downwardly direction and see where we end up. Look at that bridge. Oh, we've come down to the piazza now. They've got some music and dancing going. We're gonna pay a visit to the coffee station. I guess we can look at the dinner style offerings while we're here. That's right, they do the little salads like that. They've got pie, there's Island Spice Vegan. There's the quiche and a beef and Guinness pie. Other little sandwiches and things. And of course, desserts. It's nice. Now we could just snag a seat back here and enjoy our coffee. Listen to some uh, blondie. For now, we caught two songs. Well, coming up in a few minutes, we have our wonderful guys in Good Spirits. Random update, since she just talked about Good Spirits, we actually did realize that they don't always do the big, big presentations of making the drinks at Good Spirits, but it's on the schedule. Like most early evenings or afternoons, or I think starting around dinner time until about nine, you can see on the schedule, it'll say like an experience at Good Spirits. And so if you order your drink during those time periods, you might get an educational lesson about, you know, where your drink came from. So that was kind of cool. You can figure out when they're gonna do that stuff. Let's take a moment to just appreciate sitting in the piazza cup of coffee nice ambient music going on ah, it is lovely now we are in the mood for some trivia actually first we might be in the mood for some bottles of water from the bar and then it's 80s music trivia time you can find this I'm just gonna get water I literally made this around about an hour ago oh, she just made up the 80s music trivia because there's, there's a couple that I'm sure you've already met that have been on for a couple of cruises uh, and I've done the 80s trivia for the last couple of cruises I have to keep making new ones that's cool <laughs> 27, 28, 29, 30. Got us by one Perfect point. Perfect score. Got some music happening in the piazza. Always love to see that. Oh, they are still having the awesome lessons here at Good Spirits. You know what? I'm in an educational mood. I feel like we could use to learn some stuff. All right. He's making one now called the Grappa Peach, which is from Montevideo in Uruguay. That's not our drink. We've ordered some interesting ones. We'll have to see if he just chooses to make ours as well. He's making one now called the Coco Cafe from Dominican Republic, which sounds delicious. It's got, yeah, coconut cream or coconut milk in it, coffee. Try their local dish called the pescado con coco, or also known as the fish with coconuts. 
We're going to be visiting Tahiti, Vanilla Nice Cocktail, and this one is called the Vanilla Sky. We get to learn a little bit about Tahiti first. It's the beauty, it's the seduction. So if you're going to be visiting Tahiti, they're very famous with their pineapples and they have a lot of pineapple plantation. And we're going to be pouring three quarter or uh, one half of our Amanoya. Uh, and to remind us of the vanilla of Tahiti, we're going to be pouring some absolute vanilla. In one, two, and three. Oh, right, well, Dees has just arrived. He's getting ready to start on mine now. Okay, How right pretty now, yours is. Our fresh glass here. So mine is and from Madeira. Fresh How many people have come up and told you that this is good? Wow. So apparently, you have chosen very well. It sounded yeah. really good. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> and if you okay, guys, it's not a big deal. Very dangerous. Uh, yeah, welcome to Tahiti. <laughs> Oh, we do get a little video about Madeira now that he's done, and boom, I've got Madeira in a glass. So the glass is meant to look like an apple. It tastes like an apple, not the glass, the drink. Yes. So always remember, the more you drink, the more you get to know the Hey, that's the end of that session. Yeah, they have like at least three sessions a day where they do that for 45 minutes. But it's cool because it depends on what people order and they'll make them and uh, I don't know, I learned a lot. But yeah. Really cool. And all the combinations sound really good. And I've just asked for another recommendation of a good one and they suggested the Sandia in Fuego from Yucatan, which of course has serrano pepper involved. Um, and I asked and you are able to keep these cards. These are legitimately, I mean, they're, they're thick. Okay, well that was a terrible shot, but there's some thick cards. Well, there it is, rimmed in volcanic salt with a big old pepper and some watermelon floating in it. Yee! So this is going to be like drinking a volcano, a watermelon volcano, which is a delightful... If I had to drink one, oh, there's a seed right where I'm getting ready to sip. That's probably not a good call, is it? If I had to drink a volcano, it would be a watermelon volcano. Or like a, a Indian curry volcano. Oh, that'd be good. I got some salt. Oh, okay. The heat comes right away. It got... Mm -hmm. It got... It, it, oh, it has a little punch. So what happens if you're drinking a drink that's spicy and you're like, oh, I need something to cool me down. You can't just drink more of this drink because it's spicy. That's logic, right? Yeah, there's refreshment for about three seconds and then the heat kicks in. That's good, but it's spicy. I'll be back in a while. I've got some delightful, delicious suffering to do. Oh, no. D is taking a trip to Cartagena. There you go. It's like uh, apple, cinnamon, uh, that kind of stuff. That's cool. Well, let's see how you like that. Apple cinnamon sounds delightful. I know, it looks like an old fashioned or something on the rocks. That's good. There's a lot of cinnamon in it. Oh dear. I'm not a huge fan of like big red chewing gum. <laughs> Okay, so I'm you... I'm going to drink it. No, I, it's good. Like, if you like cinnamon, it's really good. For some reason, it gives me a headache, so we'll see how this Ah, goes. so I got serrano peppers, you got cinnamon. We're doing well. Ooh, I gotta cool my lips down. Uh, mine was good, but the heat, it, it's a lot of lip heat. A lot of lip heat going on. There you go. <laughs> All right, apparently uh, drinks here are like Pokemon. You gotta collect them all. <laughs> uh, D is going with the Butterfly, which is not from anywhere, but it is their magic cocktail. It claims that it changes colors and flavors while you drink it. Uh, I am going to Scotland, because I have never been, and I have Scottish heritage, and I feel like I need to find the Loch Ness Monster. Anyway, this is cool. So this involves, what is it, Butterfly Tea? Yeah. 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 Got some ambiance coming from across the plaza. It's a piazza, isn't it? I am never going to get these words right. Oh, this is the magic. Oh, I have to stir. Okay. Okay. 
so it's clear and magic things. Well, sorry. Right, this is this is the magic right here. Ah, knock the lemon off. You're not good at magic, but we'll forgive you. I see it's starting it right. to turn purple. It's turning purple. Yeah. What am I doing here? Right? It's I like a it's a slow magic trick. Thank you. Alright, we'll be back when this is purple. <laughs> All right, we've achieved a mild lavender. What's the flavor? Lemony? It tastes like a gin fizz. Okay. <laughs> that I've had a few of. Yes. Um, no, it's good, yeah. It's lemon and gin and butterfly tea, which I don't know what butterfly tea is. There we go, a little trip to Scotland via cucumber. It's like a little cucumber raft with a mint person on it. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, it kind of looks like a Loch Ness Pac-Man. Oh, I turned the glass and the cucumber doesn't turn. <laughs> Guys, look at physics. I can, t oh, there we go. Walk up, walk up, walk up, walk up, walk up. I feel like Scottish James Bond. Is Sean, is Sean well, Connery's? No, no, he's well. I, well. I'm not accusing the man of being Scottish. I just, he's the closest to Scottish James Bond I can think of. Oh, that is sweeter than I thought it would be, but it's actually really good. I'm not too much into gin, but whatever they've done with these magical Scottish cucumbers, it kind of helps hide the junipery flavor. You know what I mean about gin? It's got kind of a woody, junipery taste to it. Agave did it. Okay. We have come back to the cabin and found, well, they really, really want us to fill out this form about how we're uh, debarking the ship. They also really want us to order some stateroom breakfast, I guess, uh, and our patter. Good, Good night. night. We are back in the cabin mm -hmm. and it is time to chill out. We're going to watch The Love Boat because that's a cool thing. thing on Princess that they have that included in their TV lineup. So. Yeah, there's a lot of good shows on there, but we never really watched Love Boat, and it's just the thing to do on I Princess. never saw it, no. So, I enjoy it's it, fun. though. Yeah. We're like hooked on Love Boat now, okay? The horn, I mean, even the horn was not enough to deter oh, us. No, that was a lot. <laughs> Did you guys hear like it? eight times he bloop bloop that horn. Uh, but anyway, good spirits. That was an awesome time. That was really cool. We um, had some good spirits tonight. <laughs> I uh, feel fine, but yeah. Yeah, it was fun. Overall, amazing day. Love San Francisco. Definitely going to come back. So much more to do and explore. I know. I'm a little disappointed. Uh, no race around, but <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. You'll be okay. So we are going to bed. We're going to chill out. We might order some room service. If we do, we'll show you. We might not. We might just know. whatever. But y'all, come back tomorrow. We have what is known as a sea day. Yes. That's it. Join us. See you tomorrow on that day. See you then. <laughs> Bye. <Night. laughs> Y'all, we done got some food. How about that? Yeah. Chicken tacos. Now, this was an experiment because the photo in the app did show two chicken tacos. And I wanted two chicken tacos, but I wasn't sure. So I did two orders of chicken tacos. So hey, that became four tacos. That's fine. I love tacos. Uh, this is a club sandwich. Oh, that got stuck, didn't it? There we go. D wanted a club sandwich. And it was supposed to come with a side of a fruit cup, which turned into a fruit plate. So that's cool. Uh, over here, we have chips and guacamole. Times two. Because D said, I'm not sharing with you. Get your own. So I got my own. I didn't know how big it was. So yeah, we have a lot of food a actually. Lot, a little more than we thought, but now you know how to order properly. Nice. You're welcome. Don't order too many of these and share your chips and guac. Oh man. Alright. Good night. Bye. This is me waving. Bye. Bye.